Hello guys, this is me Sarabal Talk and you are welcome to my fourth tutorial of learning Python language. As I told you so many things in tutorial number three in my previous one about strings, lists, tuples and maps. So I taught all of things to you and I hope that you guys understood that. But if you don't, then the link is down in the description. Go and you can learn from there. But today in this tutorial number four, I am going to teach you something really new. And now let me tell you the topic of today's our video. Today's in this video, our topic is asking questions with if and else in Python. But before that, I would say like my video, subscribe my channel, and click on the bell icon so that you can get every new notification on time so that you can watch every my video on every Wednesday. So today, as, as I told you that we are going to learn about asking questions with if and else in Python language. So in this uh, so in the programming, we often ask yes or no questions and then decide to do something based on the answer. We might ask, um, are you older than 20? And if it is said yes, then we uh, respond, um, you are too old. If we answer like this, and then we, when we combine the, uh, these sort of questions, let me tell you that these sort of questions are called conditions. Whenever, when then we combine the condition and responses into it statements. Now the purpose to make this video is to make you understand the if statements in the Python. So this if statement in the Python to build the programs. So now let's go to the laptop screen. So now we are on the laptop screen and here I have written an if statement in the Python. So I have written here age is equal to 13 and if age is equal to greater than 20. But make sure that in here in the if statement the colons are really very important here. And I have given a greater sign. One more thing is really important that I have left some blocks here. I have left, left some space here. That is because to make sure that Python, that print is inside the if statement. Now let's go to another example to make you understand everything. Age is equal to 25 and I'm using here if statement that age is greater than 20. Now before in the uh, before one where we have written a code their Python doesn't print anything because the age was not greater than 20 it was less than 20 but here the age is greater than 20 and here I want to print you are old you can write so many strings whatever you want as I am doing you can see here and uh, same as I have left some bl blocks so that Python can understand that print is inside the if statement now here I'm writing some strings uh, as we learned in my previous tutorial. So you can write whatever you want. So here I'm, I have wrote three uh, strings. You are old, why you are here, or are you too old. If age is 20, then print these all things. Now computer, ha Python have print these all things because in exactly the age is greater than 20. That is 25 exactly. So now let's move ahead. Here I'm going to give you another example. Here, age equal to 25. Here I have written age is equal to 25 and I am again using the if statement to make you understand. Now age is greater than 20. Now using colons as I told you they are important. Print you are using quotes and making it a string you are too old. Now here, yeah, if I am using an extra space here, print, as I told you that to make Python understand that print is inside if statement, but here I'm, if I'm using extra space, then Python doesn't understand that Python thinks that the print is not inside the if statement. Now here, why you are here print. Now it gives me a syntax error, an indent error, because that print is not inside the if statement, that is out of it. Because I now here I am showing you some uh, signs that double equal to sign, not equal to sign, greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. Be sure to use double equal to sign when defining an equal equal condition. Now th this is a note that should be in your mind. Now here I am going to show you the signs I told you, I showed you before. So age equal to ten. If I am writing here age equal to ten, then if statement using age is greater than 10 now if age is greater than 10 then I am saying to Python to print 
okay now i am saying to python if age is greater than 10 then print okay now python doesn't print anything because age is not greater than 10 age is equal to 10 exactly 10 now age equal to 10 and using if statement age greater than or equal to now here i am adding greater than equal to i am writing here signs that i showed you before that these signs are used in python so greater than or equal to yeah exactly the 10 the age is equal to 10 so here python prints okay yeah here so now let's take another example age equal to 10 if statement h double equal to i told you to use double equal to when you are showing when you are writing a condition that is exactly that one that 10 actually the age is 10 that's why here i am using double equal to then age is equal, exactly the 10 one now i am saying to the python to print if age is equal to 10 then print okay now here python have print okay because age is equal to 10 now this is a uh, you know this is how we use the signs in the python now if here i am writing print print what is your name if i'm printing here what is your name then let python have print what is your name because the age is exactly the same as i told you before now here i'm writing to give you another example age is equal to 12 now if h If h double equal to 12, now here I am using double equal to sign to show you uh, the exact meaning of that. So now h equal to 12. Now print here. If h is equal to 12, then what you have to print is print OK. If h is 12, then print OK. And Now here, I am using else. Now if then else, why I am using here? I am saying to computer to go to the first condition. If age is 12, then print OK. Otherwise, else is used for otherwise. If age is not 12, then print OK. Then computers come to the uh, next condition. And it sees here, it sees here that age is oh, 12. If age is 12, then it prints OK. If age would not be 12, then it will print O. But the age is exactly 12. That's why it is printing OK here. So for now, let's go to another example, print, want to, here if I am printing, for before that, before giving you another example, I am writing here, print, want to hear a joke. Now Python have print, want to hear a joke. Now if, let's take another example to write here, age is a variable and inside it I have put in a value that is 8. Now if age is 12 then print now I'm saying to the Python if age is 12 exactly I have given the age to the Python that is 8 but I'm using here if a statement and I'm saying to Python the age is 12 then print yes but else otherwise as I told you the function of if then else now if I'm using here else then print if age is not 12 then what you have to print is I'm saying to the Python to print no now if computer will go to the first condition if age is 12 then it will print yes but it is not then no python have print no because exactly the age is 8 now age equal to 12 now if i'm writing here age equal to 12 and using if statement if age is equal to 10 if age is i have given an age to the python that is 12 but if age equal to 10 then print blue berry now i'm saying to the python if age is 10 then print blue berry exactly the we know that exactly the age is 12 but now let's see what python do now if l if now here i'm using if condition that is the mixture of else and if we are using before else 
that the, we have only one choice to do. But here in ILF, we have so many choices to do. Like if ILF age is 11, then print. Now, here we have a lot of chances to write whatever we want. Like in the first, we have uh, said to the Python to go to the first condition that if age is 10, then print bluebell. Now, using if condition, then if age is 11, then print him. Here I'm writing that age, if using if condition, age equal to 12. Now, here we have so many choices to write whatever we want. Now, before that in the else, as I told you before, that in else we have just one option to do. But here in if condition, we have so many options to do. Like if, if age is 11, then print him. If age is 12, then print high. So it is printing high because the age is exactly 12. It's not 10, neither 11. Here. Now. Now let's go to another example. That is if age equal to 10. Or. Now here I am using or. Now here we have so many options and that's make us easy to do things like and we can also use end in the Python too. But here firstly I will show you the, uh, uh, to, about or to write or in the Python. Now here I'm using or. Now here we have uh, so many choices to do like if age is uh, equal to 10 or 11 or 12. Now here we have so many choices. So it makes us easy to do so, so many things. So if age is 10 or 11 or 12, then I'm saying to Python to print whatever, as I told you, I'm saying it again and again to make you sure, to make you remind that you can write strings, whatever you want. What is 13 plus 49 plus 84 plus 155? Now here I'm doing it like this. Okay. I am saying to Python, if age is 10 or 11 or 12, then print this. What is 13 plus 49 plus 84 plus 155? Otherwise, here I'm using if then else function that print, otherwise print. If age is not 11, not 12, not 11, 10, then print hub. Now Python have print what is 13, 49 plus 84 plus 155. Because the age is exactly 12. Now, here I'm writing if age greater than or equal to 10. Now, here I'm showing you to use and in the Python. Now, if age is greater than or equal to 10 and age is less than or equal to 30, then what I have to do is print, print. What is 13 plus 48 plus 55 plus 99? Now I'm saying to Python here, if age, uh, now here, as I told you that I have used or before, now I'm using end here. If age is greater than or equal to 10 if age or end if age is less than or equal to 13 then python have to print what is 13 48 58 99 plus otherwise else print her but it is printing uh, what is uh, 13 plus 48 plus 55 plus 99 because the age is exactly 12 now i hope that you guys understood whatever i told you here i'm using another variable my value my value equal to none now here in python none means nothing so here my value equal to none and if I print here my value now it gives me none because my value is none. Now let's go ahead. My value equal to None. If my value equal to none, then if a statement using is if a statement my value double equal to sign, I told you to use it none. And using colons, as I told you, they are important. 
So if my value is equal to none, then print. I'm saying to Python, if my value is none, then print the variable my value does not have a value. Now I'm saying to Python, if my value is none, then print the variable my value does not have any value. Otherwise, now Python will first computer will go to uh, the first condition. Now the first condition is that if my value is none, then print the variable value does not have any variable. Now here it is printing the same thing because my value is none. We can see here. Now for the next here, I'm going to give you another example. H equal to 10. Now if H is equal to 10 here, and then if H equal to 10 print now if h is equal to 10 then i'm saying to python to print o or print okay so i'm saying to python that if h is 10 then print o or okay now Python is going to print both of these because age is exactly the 10 one. Now here age equal to 10. Now here I'm going to give you some uh, tell you something else that is here I'm using quotes on digit. Quotes uh, including quotes with digits. Why? Because uh, to show you an example but just to give you an example. Now here I want to include something that these numbers these uh, numbers are already in the codes. These codes are used to make an alphabet in a string. Now if I am doing it here, age equal to uh, 10 and if age is equal to 10, then print O and then print OK. Now Python doesn't print anything because these, this 10 is, uh, you know, this number is actually uh, before already in the uh, codes. We don't need to include codes with the digits. We always include the uh, codes with the alphabets to make them strings. Now if I'm giving you another example taking the same thing that age equal to a 10 including codes in it. Once again to show you converted age is a variable here taking I am now equal to int. Now int is an integer over here in the Python. Now what is uh, integers function is that integers always convert the strings into the numbers. Now Python. Now Python, I'm going to show you that Python have a magical function that it turns a string into a number and number into a string. Now here, age equal to 10. Now here I'm not using quotes. And here I'm using the same variable that is converted age into an integer. I want to convert this number into an integer. Now here, I am going to do h equal to 10. Now here again I am using quotes. I will make you understand everything. Converted age again taking the same variable into integer. Age. Now here I also want to convert this string into a number with in using integer. Now here I am using if converted age equal to equal to 10. Now here, what I'm going to do is just give you an example. Now here's a syntax error. The cause of this error is I am not, I have not used here double equal to sign. I have used a single equal. That's why it is giving me an error. These type of errors come in Python. That's why I am giving you an example to show you how, what kind of errors come in Python. Now here I'm using double equal to. Here. So now print. Oh. Now if age is 10, oh converted age is 10, then print O and print OK.
now here python i print o oh, okay because here i have used double equal to sign that's what i told you if you are using the equal to equal condition then you have use you have to use the uh, double equal to sign now here i'm going to give you another example that is age is equal to 10 10.5 i'm using a decimal point here there's uh, you know the decimals are in point that we always use in our daily life in the our simple arithmetic and i am you including quotes in it to make it a string now here i'm using float function float is also a function that converts a decimal number into an integer now here float age now print here converted age 10 now here float have converted this a uh, decimal point into an integer now you can see here now uh, let me give you another example let's move ahead now if here i'm writing giving you an example age equal to 10 now here make it short that here i'm not using digits here i'm using alphabets you know making them in a string now converted age using in variable as i told you Converted age equal to float. Now here again I'm using a float function. That's what I told you that it just uh, converts a decimal into a into an integer. So here it gives me an error because could not convert a string to an uh, to float. Float cannot convert a string. It converts the decimal points. So here I have written a string to sh to show you I have make uh, you know I have did a mistake to show you that these kind of error come in Python while doing while writing the codes. Now here, let me show you age equal to. 10.5 here i am writing age equal to 10.5 but uh, make it sure that here i am again using the quotes to make it a string now converted age equal to int means here i want to convert this 10.5 into an integer now i told you that these integer cannot convert this decimal point now to fix this error what i am going to do i am going to show you that age equal to 10.5 to fix this error here i'm going to use another function that is plot function now here i'm going to show you converted age equal to here i'm using plot function as i told you that now this plot function is going to fix the error that was that inti i wanted to convert the 10.5 into an integer now float plot function will do this the same thing print converted h so here it is 10.5 now you can see that plot have changed this so now i hope that you guys understood that it was all about asking questions with if and else in the python i hope that you guys understood it and enjoyed it so i i, I also want to say that you can make your own programs i that uh, that's what i did to ask questions with if and else as i did to teach you so i hope that you guys understood it now I just want to say you that uh, this was all about today's tutorial. I will meet you in the next tutorial in my fifth tutorial. So stay tuned and watch my next tutorial on Wednesday. Thank you for watching.